Welcome back to San Antonio Living. A tuna melt is a delicious lunch option, but Amy Hatton has made this classic sandwich a little bit healthier. Take a look. Hi everybody, it's Amy Hanton, the cooking mom, back with another recipe. I'm gonna show you how I do tuna melts, a little healthier than the old school way when you fry them in butter like a grilled cheese. This is a baked tuna melt recipe and it is so delicious. Makes a great lunch, brunch, or even a nice light dinner. So I started with a big can or two of the smaller cans of tuna, drain them really well. I always get the water packed tuna and then just flake it up. I like adding quite a bit of finely diced celery. For some color, I'm adding some a uh, red diced red pepper, which is really pretty in here to get rid. Sometimes people don't like tuna. It gets a bad rap because of uh, they say it's fishy. Add some fresh lemon juice. And my other uh, tip is adding some fresh or dried dill and that will really give it some great flavor and just cuts down on um, that fishy flavor. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some mayonnaise and I always, I use real mayonnaise, not the salad dressing, add a couple tablespoons and you can always add more if needed. So start with a little. I'm seasoning with a little bit of uh, black pepper and some garlic powder or garlic salt. All right, that's gonna give it some great flavor. So mix it mix it up. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can uh, get a loaf of French bread and it's if it's kind of the soft, spongy French bread, I pull out some of the innards and then fill the, the loaf of the bread with the tuna salad. But if you wanna make it even more healthy, you can do this sandwich open face. So basically I took the French bread, I always line my baking sheet with some foil, then pile on the tuna salad and you can make the tuna salad beforehand, keep it in your refrigerator until you're ready to, to eat these uh, bad boys. The next thing I like, if you're a tomato person, I add some sliced, thinly sliced tomato, and then on top, some American or cheddar cheese. Pop this into the oven, it's a pretty quick bake. It's done in about 15 to 20 minutes. And it is so yummy, it's kind of like comfort food, just done a, a different way, a little more healthy. Great with a salad or um, soup or I love, a, a tuna melt or tuna sandwich with some potato chips. And there you go. Enjoy. And as I always say, cook up some memories and we'll see you next time. Easy and yummy. And you can find more recipes from Amy on our website, saliving.com.